Hello friends, in this video I am going to cover everything about sorting of an array in Java. We will start with a very basic one. We will start the sorting of an array of strings in ascending order and descend then descending order. Then we will see how we can sort the array of objects. So please watch this complete video. So let's get started and everything I am going to show uh, with the live coding so we will jump on to the eclipse so i already have a one class with me with a name of sorting of an array example which has a very first main method so we are trying to create a standalone application so first fo our focus will be to see how we can sort the simple array of string so let's create first of all the array of the string so i will give the name as the say names and we will store some uh, couple of names say first name will be say jim and say andrew and say krish and say michael oops say Bob okay now we want to sort this particular array in a ascending order so it's very simple so I have to just call the sort method of arrays class so it requires say one argument and second one is basically the optional one so we will just sort it so this will hopefully sort the array in an ascending order array of a string in ascending order so i will just do the sys out say content of the names array in after sorting after sorting now as we have seen in the earlier video if you want to print the content of the uh, array so better you use the two string method of the arrays class so i will use the oops yep so uh, looks like it got stuck so yep so i will use the two string arrays dot two string and we will print the content of names array so i'm going to save this file and let me run this file so, so it will display the content of this particular array in the ascending order. So as you can see, we got the names as the Andrew, Bob, Grish, and the chain. Now we want to sort this particular array in a descending order, in a reverse pattern. So that also a very easy, straightforward. You have to call the same method, sort method, and but you have to use the second argument. In the second argument, you have to pass the a result of a reverse order method of a collection class so which will sort the array in a descending pattern so so we'll say let's print this content say content of the names array after sorting in reverse order so let's print this content we will again use the arrays like two string so arrays is basically a class of the java i have added a java docs below this description of this video you can uh, refer to that if you want to learn some more interesting methods related to uh, this particular class so let me print this so let me run this program again so now it should print the content in ascending and then afterwards in the descending order. So as you can see, we got the Jim, Grish and Bob and the Andrew, the person name who starts with the A letter will be displayed at the end. That will be an last array element. Now this is how you can sort the uh, arrays in an ascending array of the string in ascending or descending order. Pretty much simple, but the what about if you want to sort an array of the objects means an array having the multiple number of objects and each objects has the fields multiple fields and you want to sort the 
uh, array element based on those values of the field so let's see how we can do this so for simple uh, we need to first of all create an array of the ob objects and to create the objects we need the class so let us create a simple class say we will create a class as a person and let us add some couple of fields there so i will just put the first field as the name and second field we will try to uh, would say integer value say age age of a person and now we need the getter setters and we also need the constructor so let me quickly create all those uh, constructors using the eclipse getter setter uh, shortcut utility so i will just create the uh, getter setters for this and let me also create the to string method so that i can print the content of this particular uh, object and we need to also create the uh, initialize the these fields so we need to create the constructors also let me quickly create the constructor for the same so we got everything got created let me format it with control shift f quick shortcut so now i have a person class which has the two members which two members the name and the age and we got the getter setters for both of them as the constructor and as well as the uh, two string method so that i can print the content of this particular object so let me create the couple of objects first so let me create the couple of objects say uh, we will create say person person p equals to so let us put some values assign some values to this so we will create the new object person and we say we will put some name say Grish and we'll put some age and let me create two to three such objects I'm just doing a copy paste here oops something got wrong here so yep so say we'll create the three objects say p1 p2 and the p3 and let's put some names here say jim and any other name say i would say say uh, any name what i can think of say john okay so uh, let's put the the person name starts with the a for so that we can understand this let me create a one more uh, person so that we can understand that is the data is properly sorted or not okay so let me call this person as the p4 now let us create the array of this person object so we'll say person and we want to give the name to this particular array of objects as person and we want to add all of four so p1 p2 and the p3 p4 there you go so we got this array now now we want to sort this but suppose this particular uh, the array of objects by the as as per the age wise so let me first of all put the age uh, change the age so i want to uh, put keep the gym as a very c junior person so and i want to make the anil as the most senior one so we'll just put this these values and we will save this now we want to sort this so we have to use the comparator interface so let me create a one class say we want to sort it by say we want to sort it by say age so you have to use the implement you have to use the implement implement the comparator what is basically a comparator so i already opened the java docs for you you can use this comparator interface so as you can see over here this is an interface which has a one method you can override that method and so it will ask you that you want to use this comparator for which type of 
class you want against so you have to use generics here so I will put as the person okay so let me give this space here let me import this particular thing and it will last uh, add the unimplemented method so we will implement its compare method which will return some value it will return the uh, zero in case both are equal or positive or negative value so we will use say we want to sort it by the age wise so we will use the content of the age field here so what I will do now I will use say return o1 dot age is greater than o1 dot age o2 dot age so this should return us the some integer value so we have to use the minus symbol so that it should pause and return the uh, positive or the negative value depends upon the age S and let and now we, if you want to sort it so then it will be pretty much simple you have to use the arrays dot sort and you have to pass the person name and you have to create the object of this particular new class that is the sort by age so this will sort by age and let's do a sys out here say content content of the person array of objects objects after sorting so how you can do this so same you have to use the arrays dot to string method and you have to print the all the persons right so hopefully this should print the content of the persons array of object and it should be sorted as per the age wise in an ascending pattern so let's see so as you can see that we got the gym first here age is 10 and then we got the Girish 30 and the Suresh 40 and the last we got the Anil now what if if we make the value of Anil as a phi so we will make it as a master junior so we will make it as phi so we will try to run this again So as you can see we got the anil first so we will change its value again to 50 now so what if I want to sort it by the f name so it's very much similar what you have to do you have to just create a one more class and say I will name that as sort by the name and this time I have to compare the names so names dot compare to what what we want to compare to whom we want to compare with is basically the o2 dot name so this should return a positive or negative value and accordingly data should be sorted so we'll just again do a copy paste just to see that is it properly working or not So we will sort it by the name. So we will just sort it by the name now and see. After sorting it, after sorting it, okay. So let me save this and run this program again. So the first of all at the beginning it will sort by the name uh, age sorry and after that in the second you see it is being sorted by the name so we got the anil first 
and then Girish and then Jijim and at the last we got the Suresh that starts with a S. So this is how you can sort the uh, do the sorting operations into the in the Java. So main what we have learned here that we have learned about the arrays. Uh, the arrays class has one sort method through that sort method you can easily sort it if you want to sort the array of string it is quite straightforward you have to sort it by name uh, this in ascending and descending but if you want to sort the uh, content of an array of objects then you have to use the comparator implement you have to implement the comparator interface and override the compare method and put some logic and then use the same arrays dot sort method so i hope you i hope you will find this video useful enough please subscribe to this channel to see such more videos uh, and uh, that's pretty much i have for this particular uh, video yeah thanks for watching see you in the next video thanks